Hello viewers, it's David Hartley. Welcome to the start of another video and another skiing holiday. Today you find me in France. I'm in uh, Val Morel and I'm in Club Med. I'll show you my room. We just arrived today. I've cut out all the boring bits of getting here. So we had a transfer and we checked into our room. So this is my room. It's okay. I wouldn't like to have two people in here. It's a little bit tight. You know what I don't like? There's no chair. I always like a kind of an armchair to sit in and read my book. Anyway, it's a bath, and I do like baths, as you know. Toilet in there, you all know what a toilet looks like. My little bathroom is kind of weird, because you come in the door, and you walk through this little bathroom to get to your bedroom. Anyway, and then there's a little kind of wardrobe area here. I won't be ironing those shirts. Um, but anyway, it's efficient, and... Um, so, are we going to meet the other guys? We'll go downstairs, I'll show you the club, I'll show you everything. You'll come skiing with me, see the whole thing. Stick with it. So it's Monday afternoon, as you can see it's snowing. It's snowing quite heavily actually, we need it. Conditions are quite bad. I skied this morning. Didn't ski this afternoon because of the conditions. And also I wasn't brilliant this morning, but um, there you go. Hopefully it'll be nice tomorrow. If it snows all night it should be nice. So there are two restaurants in Club Med. This is the Gourmet restaurant. There's the entrance and there's wine you can pay extra for if that's your thing. But you can also come here as a bar and have afternoon tea and everything here. Lovely. Bonjour. Uh, and here we find my friends have got a... Um, tell our viewers, what's it like, David, up here compared to downstairs? <laughs> well, look around you. It's quiet, it's peaceful. Uh, better, better yeah, I'll show them downstairs later. Also, tell me, uh, David, how do the French serve tea? Is there any peculiarity you've noticed? Well, they, they are a little heavy on the milk, yes. I mean, this is a teapot full of milk. Wow. <laughs> this is the hot water. Lovely. So, I've had uh, my Earl Grey tea and my cake. Everything's right with the world. So we've got a snow plough here. You can see how much snow has fallen. Um, let's hope we get some more tonight. So I just want to show you the club mid. This is where you pull up. These are the main buildings. And we'll go through here. So you come through here. Hi, say hello. And uh, reception is there. But really, all your check-in is done for you when you arrive. Your room key and everything. You take the bags up to your room. It's a boutique there. Um, ski gear. I've got enough. And it's quite kind of noisy down here. There's a lot of young children at this resort. I'll show you the bar. If you're a drinker, this is the bar area. You see, it's noisy, people shouting. Not that pleasant, really. Through there, there's a swimming pool and everything. I haven't been yet, but there's also a hammock. Day two of skiing holiday, it's Tuesday. Wow, what a difference a day makes. I mean, um, the conditions have improved, it's snowed in the night, it's sunny, couldn't see a thing yesterday. Yesterday, I really lost my confidence. So I moved down a group, not a group, but a level within 3A, the two groups. One group this morning was going off-piste with avalanche transceivers, so I didn't fancy that, not me. So I kind of got my confidence back today, you'd be glad to hear. Let me show you the change in the weather. Remember last time we looked out? Frightful. Now, sun is shining. Everything is good in the world. Most club mids have a free shuttle, and this one's no exception, taking us down into the village. It's a little bit miserable, but it's nice to escape the music and the screaming of the children. So this is the pretty village of Valmorel. It would be pretty if it weren't raining, but... Um, C'est la vie. We've left the noise and clamour of club med for a local bar in town. Jim's having a uh, local red wine and uh, David's having the beer. How's it going, David? Very nice, very Good, nice. Great. Just, just right. Kind of unusual place, probably couldn't go with a big crowd, but uh, um, you can also get a lottery ticket here if you're feeling lucky. 12 o'clock, just got back from my morning lesson, been on the slope since 9 o'clock. Things are looking up. Conditions are good this morning, visibility was good, it wasn't cloudy, snow was okay. Low levels is artificial snow, but it's fine. My skiing felt confident today. Just show you outside. I haven't really used my balcony. It's quite mild actually. See, that's where they, that's where we come down and get into Club Med. I'll show you later. It's nice, picturesque. Not the best Club Med, but uh, you know, it's nice to be away skiing. Now down here, in there is the ski room, so you can hire the, I'll show you, 
So in here you can hire the gear you need. If you haven't got your own skis and boots, you can hire and you can buy stuff as well, all these helmets. But these are the lockers. Now these lockers are all controlled with your um, room key, which is the you know strap to your wrist. The lockers are there, you grab your stuff and then out here you're on the piste. So you see, well you can see where they're skiing down and um, she's got a great suit, I like that suit, silver, lovely. Um, so down here, this is where our groups start in the morning, I'm in 3A there, half on piste. Um, so down there you ski down to the gondola, the instructors are coming back, lessons kind of, the afternoon lessons start at 2 and finish at 4. But it's all very well organised for Club Med. Club Med caters for children and in there there's like a teen area club. Uh, there are baby clubs but there are games here, table tennis and um, pool and everything. Lovely. There's a spa and everything here for treatments and massages and everything. It's lovely. Hello. I'm just... No, I made you a travelogue of the Club Med. Do you want to say hello to our viewers? Hello. <laughs> are we going for um, dinner now? This is one of the rooms. Lovely. So it's a little noisy, but there is all the kind of different salads and everything you can help yourself to. I would start with a salad. Dave Willis is getting some food here. Um, there are basically three rooms like this. These are the starters, and then they cook food for you. Um, but there's another room. It's incredible, really. The choices are uh, amazing. You know, they do things for children, burgers. I bought a Valmorel top today. Um, mine was a bit boring, actually. We call this room the reindeer room because of the uh, antlers and everything, but it's kind of more noisy in here. With children running around, hard men on that table. I wouldn't like to fight any of them. Um, anyway, there's all these different rooms for you to eat in, and then you get your food. I like lovely desserts, I always have these every evening. Friday morning condition reports, a little bit of a whiteout, look at that. So I've been out skiing with Jim and David and uh, come back early, but uh, you know, it's, you know, you're skiing in the snow, I prefer to ski in the sunshine. So tonight we've left behind the clamour of the nightclub and the children's party for the sophistication and quiet, gentle ambience of the restaurant upstairs, which I would recommend. A uh, little amuse bouche there. What do you think, Jim? Now, I'm joining with Jim, who's an experienced uh, croupier, driver, recruiter, so many talents. Uh, what do you think of Club Med, seriously, Jim? You've never done it before, what do you think? Loving it, yeah. Great. It's great. You'd recommend it to normal people? Absolutely. Great. In Club Med, the appetites are enormous. That's the steak they serve to one person. <laughs> incredible. They're carving up Dave Willis's tomahawk steak now. He's got an incredible appetite. <laughs> so it's Saturday morning. We're outside Club Med. This is where the groups all meet. So I don't think there are actually any lessons this morning, maybe private ones, but we're going off. What do you think, David? You've enjoyed it? Yeah, fantastic. fantastic. Good. Steve, there's a lot of negative yeah. comments about Val Morel. What do you think? Well, there are some positives as well, and the, one of the big positives is if you're trying off piece for the first time, then this is the place to come because the gradients are so easy. Good. Well, we go down. You see that gondola? We ski down and we get that gondola up. Join me later. So the gondola gets us up in the morning in a very efficient way. The four of us in here, looking forward to our day skiing. Um, nice. So we've gone up the mountain now, the sun is coming out. It's actually quite glorious up here. I'll just do a little bit of a panoramic shot. The good thing is it's also very quiet. It's lovely, it is a nice resort actually. When the conditions are good, it's nice. Just wanted to show you how empty the piste is. Now we're looking down. Steve's in a bit of an expert. He's gonna tell I you don't, everything. I don't think so. Um, what we have at the top there is Club Med. And as you wind down the road, there's Valmorel, kind of the ski village. And as we look at it, we can see like a high street where all the shops and restaurants are. And if we follow the road down, there are various other parts of Valmorel, mainly chalets, but down towards the village, which is where the church is. And that's where uh, most of the ski instructors are. Um, yes, it's tough and sportive skiing down the mountains, but there is time to relax and refresh ourselves. Mont Blanc. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
and we're having a little little restaurant it's quite quiet here as you can see it's not like Austria pumping music it's uh, it's nice little little break for ourselves nice it's good that bit it's good yeah very nice Oh, this guy's not in our group. Oh, is he not? No, he's too good. <laughs> this is uh, Baptiste. Nice. Even on the drag, people are conducting business. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Slow down. Slowly. Slowly. Slowly, Jim. Slowly. Jim, slower. Slowly. 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 Yeah, we forgot to tell you about the little icy crust underneath. I did that on purpose. Dynamic. There we are. So it's recording now. We're going to do a little bit of skiing down the mountain, viewers. Okay. Give me a second. All right. Off we go. So, off we go. Just done a torturous amount of polling here, but it's worth it. We're on our way to lunch and a fantastic view down in the valley of the mountains here. Lovely. Are you enjoying yourself, Jim, Steve? Yeah, very much so, yeah. Great. In certain fresh restaurants, you have to be able to grab your um, burger or your food and go quickly. Hence, it's served in a little tray here that I can take away any time. Well, it's uh, Saturday evening. i um, just uh, got my skis and boots and packing up. This in a perverse kind of way is one of my favourite parts of the week because you finish skiing and touch wood you haven't been injured, you survived it and uh, you know it's quite a transformation. The first day I got here, first day skiing I kind of thought oh god can I ever ski again, do I need to give up skiing? But no, I found my ski legs, the conditions improved and I've enjoyed the week so I'll be skiing next year. Here's the shop and here's the chaos, Sunday's changeover day. A thousand bags are wheeling in and out. The models are being prepared. Everyone's heading off for their airports. 
thankfully I don't have an injury like that poor lady. So we say goodbye to Club Med, we've had a great week. Well viewers, back home, back in the mirror. Hope you've enjoyed the video, it's the end of the holiday. And uh, I've enjoyed it and I hope you have too. There's plenty more Club Med videos on my channel if you want to watch them. And uh, hopefully we'll be going again. See you soon, bye now.